Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about a new 3D printing project that I've been working on and that is custom designed cookie cutters. It's really fun because you can very easily take any drawing and turn it into a cookie cutter. You can make custom shapes for any kind of person, any kind of occasion. So without further ado, let's jump in. The first thing you're going to need is an image of a shape. You can draw it or you can take one from the internet. Um, I decided to work with SparkFun's logo since it's something we all look at a lot. And I just have it saved here right on my desktop. So I'm going to bring this into my Adobe Illustrator. There's going to be a few steps that we want to do here. The first thing you want to do is select the, the object we've opened up in Illustrator and go to Object and then go Image Trace, Make and Expand and then hit OK. And what this is going to do is it's going to create an outline of our shape just like that. And I can go over here and take my direct selection tool and just grab the uh, like white background here and start hitting delete. And you'll see that my shape is going to be left here alone. I'm going to do one more thing before we move forward. I'm going to go to path and I'm going to say simplify. And this is just going to help uh, as we move into Tinkercad to have a simpler shape. And it looks like there might be two layers here. Uh, so I'm just gonna take this again and see, yep, it looks like the shape was doubled over. So I'm gonna delete this back one and be left with just one clean shape. Now I'm just gonna give my shape an outline in black and I'm also gonna remove the black fill so it's just an outline. And from here I'm gonna go to Object, Path, and then Offset Path and I'm gonna do 0.3 inches to start. And that's just gonna give me another outline of my shape. Then I'm just gonna to go to File, Save As, and save this as an SVG file. There we go. And I'm gonna give it a name so that I know what it is. I'm gonna say SF Flame Base. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back into my Illustrator file and I'm just gonna undo what I just did and I'm gonna select my object again and go back to path and go back to offset path. And instead of doing 0.3, I'm gonna do 0.06, which is a much smaller offset and hit okay. So you can see that's a much thinner line there. Um, this is what I want for my next, my next SVG. So I'm gonna go to file, save, save as, Choose SVG, make it Spark Fun Flame Wall. And I'm gonna save that to my desktop. Okay, that's all we have to do in Illustrator. Now I'm gonna go to my modeling program. I'm working with Tinkercad. It's an online program, it's open source. It's very intuitive and easy to use and for simple models, I couldn't recommend it more. So I'm in Tinkercad and here's my workspace and I just need to import my shape. So I'm gonna hit import and choose a file and grab the base of my flame first and hit import. And there it is. It's pretty big, but that's okay. We'll, we'll size it later. And I'm also gonna import my wall file. There we go. Um, so now we have both the thing to hold when we're cutting our cookies and the thing that's gonna cut the actual dough. Um, we need this cutter part that's very thin and sharp to be a lot taller so that it can cut into the dough. So I'm just gonna take this measurement over here and make it like 80 or 90 because remember this is pretty out of proportion over here. And then I can just drag these and align them like so. And now I'm just gonna have to combine them. So you can do that by selecting both shapes and then doing this grouping command here. You can either do control G or just hit this. So let's look around our piece a little bit just to see what it looks like. Pretty good, pretty good. So the last thing I'm gonna do before this is ready is I'm just gonna resize it to fit onto that frame that we have down here um, and be more cookie sized, um, which would be around like two inches or so. Um, probably about there. And there you have it, that's it. That's, that's all it takes to make your own cookie cutter. The next step is simply printing this. So you can export your file for 3D printing. Um, right here they have two options, an object file or an STL. I usually download an STL because that's what my G-Code generator uses. I use a program called Cura. It works with our Lulzbot printers. 
Um, but you might be working with a different printer that requires you to use an uh, object file. So that's really your choice moving forward from here, but that's how you would model this. Um, and then you can just print it out and start to use it. Now you have all the skills you need to make your own custom designed cookie cutters on the 3D printer. If you don't have a 3D printer at home, do not worry. You can go to your local library or makerspace and they'll usually have one available, but if not, you can order online from a digital fabricator. We hope you like this project. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Cookie cutters, um, you, if you, <laughs> decorating skills. <laughs> I broke the cookie. <laughs> now you know everything you, mm, you know how to make, the, you were talking. <laughs> I'm going to leave out that part about the frosting and just let people make their own judgments. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right.